Ladies and gentlemen, today is going to be a very fun one, because today we're going over three major updates to Ocarina of Time Reborn. Now, in case you're new here, Ocarina of Time Reborn is my project to redo all of the music from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last year I did Majora's Mask Reborn, so this year here we are on Ocarina of Time. But before we dive into the meat and potatoes, first let's do a vocab lesson. See, today I'm going to be throwing some terms and nerd stuff around, so I want to make sure everyone's on the same page as I'm talking about this stuff. Modloader64 is an emulator for PC, where you can play Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask with some fun character mods mods and multiplayer, and most importantly for today, custom music. Ship of Harkinian is the native PC port of Ocarina of Time. Ship of Harkinian has all kinds of little quality of life features, bug fixes, really easy to access and use mods, but as of right now, no custom music. Two Ship is the same thing, but for Majora's Mask. And in the interest of not wasting any more time, let's get to the point, shall we? As I said at the beginning, there are three major updates to talk about today, the first of which being the due date. Initially, I said Ocarina of Time Reborn would launch on December 8th. That seemed like a very reasonable deadline at the time. However, the missions change, they always do, and the deadline has been pushed back to December 15th. That additional week will give me some much needed time to polish up the music and get it to the standard that y'all expect and deserve. But the reason I need this extra week is because of the last two updates. Update number two being implementation. When I announced Ocarina of Time Reborn, I said I would not be able to mod the music into the game, and that has changed. I've connected with the lovely people at Modloader64, and they've explained to me how I can use their music system for Ocarina of Time Reborn, which means, worst case scenario, the music will be functional in Mod Loader 64. And I do say worst case scenario, because the best case scenario is that I might be able to reverse engineer that system and get it working for Ship of Harkinian. If I can, that way, no matter how you want to play Ocarina of Time, you'll be able to enjoy it with all of the lovely updated music. If the music can come to Ship of Harkinian and Mod Loader 64, that means I can then go back and do the same thing for Majora's Mask as well. The end result would then be Modloader 64 Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, Ship of Harkinian Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, and of course Majora's Mask 3D, all having the custom music in it. The only one that gets left out is Ocarina of Time 3D, my beloved, I'm sorry, but no one knows how to mod music in that game, and I don't think anyone's gonna figure it out. But hey, if anyone does know how to mod the music in the 3DS remake, please let me know, because I would love to get the custom music set up for that one. And last but not least, the third and final major update today is about the music itself where you can find it, where it's being uploaded, and how you can actually contribute to this project in a pretty major way. You see, last year when I did Majora's Mask, I uploaded the entire album for free to my Bandcamp page. And it being free was kind of the whole point of the project. I made all of this music because I wanted to make it, and I wanted to share it, and I wanted everyone to get to enjoy it. And in the announcement for Ocarina of Time Reborn, I said I would be doing the same thing. However, once again, the missions change, they always do, and here we are. I kid you not, two days after I upload that Ocarina of Time announcement video, I log on to Bandcamp and I see, uh-oh, the terms of service have been updated. Covers are no longer allowed on Bandcamp. Uh-oh, almost every single song in Ocarina of Time Reborn is a cover, which means if I upload this music to Bandcamp, despite them specifically saying no covers are allowed, Nintendo would have grounds to sue me. And I really don't want Nintendo to have grounds to sue me. Which means, unfortunately, Bandcamp is no longer an option. But it's not all doom and gloom yet, because the music will still be going up, just with a little bit of a minor twist. I'm now opening up a Ko-Fi page where you'll be able to find both Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask Reborn once again for free. You can still download all of the music for free with all of the lovely artworks, and on December 15th you'll be able to find both albums 
up there on that page. But in addition to this, I'm also opening up donations because cover licenses are expensive, but not unattainable. And if we can raise enough money, I can actually put Ocarina of Time Reborn and Majora's Mask Reborn up on streaming services. When you actually crunch all the numbers, it's gonna cost a little bit over $2,100 for me to upload this music to streaming. That means if you use Spotify, iTunes, YouTube Music, Amazon Music, freaking Hulu, I don't know, whatever you use, you'll be able to listen to the music right there natively on your streaming service of choice. And listen, if you don't have the money to donate, or if you just don't want to, absolutely no hard feelings. You'll still be able to download the music for free from my Ko-Fi page, but reaching those donation goals will be very, very big for what I can actually do with this project. Now, that was a lot to cover in a relatively short period of time, so let's recap real quick to make sure we're all on the same page here. Ocarina of Time Reborn will launch in three phases. Phase 1 will be December 15th, when the album and art book launch for free on YouTube and on my Ko-Fi page. Now, phase two will be implementation. I'm hoping to have that done by around mid-January, so around January 15th-ish, you'll be able to play Ocarina of Time with my music working in it. Plus, if we can reverse engineer the system, we can get it functioning in Majora's Mask as well. And finally, phase three will be getting the music up on streaming. I'm expecting it to take a while before we can raise that amount of money, and cover licenses tend to take about two weeks to get sorted anyway, so I'm not putting any kind of harsh deadline on that, but like I said, hopefully late January to mid-February is when that gets done. And ladies and gentlemen, that's all I've got for today, so I'll be back with another update video shortly, and until then, I am out. Have a good one.